y'all want kids? <laughs> What's up, Library Nation? Okay, so we are going to start this video off a little bit differently, and I'm going to just take a moment to clear the air of some really ridiculous and silly accusations that I've seen in some comments, both on YouTube and on Instagram and You're on super Facebook. Super weird. You guys are super weird sometimes. Y'all being ridiculous. So we've had a lot of people ask us, "Are y'all never jeeping ever again?" Yes, because we've sold all of our jeeps. All of our jeeps no longer <laughs> exist. They've disappeared off the face of the earth. Guys, no. Of course we are jeeping. However, we came to Texas because we had to go pick up our Supra. Remember we picked it up in Chicago, drove it out to Connecticut, and then we had to drive it down to Texas because we had stuff to do here. Now, granted, originally that trip was only supposed to last about a week or two. And then this happened. Hi. <laughs> I like how you were like super embarrassed for a second. Like, oh God, the camera's coming. Um, so my mom decided that she was gonna injure herself working twice. But yeah, she actually injured her shoulder while she was working, while we were here. And Kevin and I decided that rather than leave and abandon her, we would stay in the area and help her around the house. And while we were at it, we made the most of our time here by working on all of our race car stuff, which we never have the opportunity to do because we're traveling so much. Because we're always jeeping. We're always jeeping. And because we're always, we're always jeeping. So we took the opportunity to enjoy some of the passions that we almost never have the time to enjoy anymore. And while we were at it, help my mama out. Cause she's the greatest. <laughs> so now due to COVID-19, staying with my mom for a full month was actually not that big of a deal since every single one of our Jeep events got canceled. Obviously Jeep Beach, EJS, and unfortunately, our Alaska trip with Trail Recon. It was the maiden voyage for the Gladiator, but the Canadian borders are still closed, so we physically cannot drive to Alaska. But, <laughs> but I came up with a backup plan, and the new plan is to take the Gladiator and do a 750 mile trip through the desert in Arizona. There's a trail called the Peace Trail, and it is it's probably gonna be like two weeks long and we plan on hitting that soon. By ourselves. I just wanna emphasize, this is not with experts like Trail Recon or Marco or professionals in the overlanding world who know how to survive in the wilderness and camp for two weeks straight. This is just Kevin and I, the very much so not professionals <laughs> going to try to survive. So it should be amusing. And so for those of you who are wondering, what's next with the jeeps what's next with the gladiator and the gladiator giveaway starting at the beginning of june we will be doing an overlanding trip that should last us about a week and a half to two weeks and we got our fingers crossed that we're gonna survive now another question that we've gotten a lot is why don't you create a second channel or a separate channel for all of your race car stuff your drifting your supra etc and leave the original light bright channel to just jeeping now that that's a very loaded question. So I'm gonna answer it this way for you. So for those of you that don't know, Kevin and I only have two sources of income, period. It's YouTube and E3 Off-Road. Now YouTube generally pays for our bills every single month. Usually we make enough off of YouTube that we can pay for our bills. E3 Off-Road allows us to do the more adult stuff like saving for retirement and saving for adult things like hopefully one day being able to buy a house so it lets us save money youtube pays our bills now the way that we make money off of youtube is through ad revenue but a lot of that relies as well on the views and we get views by youtube helping us to promote our videos if we don't upload consistently and often YouTube doesn't share our videos. Sometimes it doesn't even notify you guys that we've uploaded a video. It's just like a normal job. If you don't show up, you don't get paid. Exactly. If you don't post a video, you, you don't, don't get, get paid. paid. And if you do less videos, you get paid less, less, you get promoted less. So think about it this way. If we created a second channel specifically for racing, situations like we've experienced in this last month where we've decided to stay in Texas to help my mom and the only opportunity for content we had were our race cars, which again, I absolutely love. That would mean that the original Lightbrite Jeeping channel wouldn't have had a video uploaded to it for over a month. Now YouTube would get extremely upset at that and treat you as if you didn't show up to your job for a month and when you did show up, they'd be like, ah, they aren't taking this seriously. 
we're not going to promote their videos. Which would mean that we would no longer be making very much money on YouTube on the Lightbright channel. And we definitely wouldn't be making a lot of money on the other channel as well because it's probably going to have a lot less views. It's going to be starting from zero subscribers and we're going to have to basically build a whole new channel from scratch. So ultimately we would be almost eliminating an entire half of our income, right. which we simply cannot afford to do. For those of you who do not like our race car content, I'm sorry. I apologize. There are hundreds of manufacturers in the world that create vehicles and Kevin and I are not only Jeep people. We love all sorts of cars. We're driving in a Toyota Sequoia right now. We used to have a Toyota Land Cruiser. We've owned BMWs. Kevin's owned a Kia. We've owned old school. Don't what bring was your... that up. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we love all sorts of cars. We enjoy automotive hobbies as a whole and you know we're hoping to that with the race car content some of you guys might be able to broaden your horizon and learn to enjoy things that you never thought you might have been interested in to begin with but in general we do things that make us happy and that we love to do because we always are encouraging guys to follow your passion chase your dreams and do the things that make you happy in life so in essence starting that second youtube channel to put the car stuff on would actually kill both channels now that states are opening back up what are y'all's plans? Well, obviously due to COVID, we had to cancel the Australia and New Zealand trip and the Alaska trip, but those are absolutely gonna be rescheduled. Australia and New Zealand hopefully will be next year during their go topless week. Yep, the only thing we know right now is the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion and Trail Hero in the fall, which is the Gladiator giveaway. Other than that, we'll just have to see. You guys four wheel all over. Rank the top five states that you enjoy for wheeling? Colorado. Definitely Colorado. Definitely Utah. Utah. Um, California. California. California has a lot of good trails and it's it's really spread out. It's a big area with a lot of different types of wheeling. Yeah. So Colorado, Utah, California. I love Tennessee. Definitely Tennessee. I did enjoy that. We haven't really done a lot in Arizona, although I hear Arizona's really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. Texas has some good off-roading parks as well. Oregon and Washington are both supposed to be really good. It was really beautiful. It's like yeah. tropical rainforest. Pennsylvania was beautiful also. No particular order. No particular order. Would be California, Utah, Colorado, Tennessee. I feel like we're gonna piss people off. And then uh, one of any of the other ones we maybe mentioned, keep yeah. in mind, we have not wheeled in a ton of places. There's thousands, if not tens of thousands of trails we have never been to. All right, so we've answered this one before, but I don't mind answering it again. Where did you two meet? You're talking about us, Kevin. We met at a drifting event. Under a bridge. Go figure, what? It was not under a bridge. It was at Import Face Off in Ennis, Texas. It was a car show slash drift event. It was the first time I had ever been in a drift car in my entire life. And would you guess who was driving? How often do you guys get randomly recognized? A lot? Uh, yeah. A, well, a lot more now since Hyperdrive has come out, but typically it's not that bad unless we're at a motorsport event. So unless we're at uh, a drift event, a drag racing event, or especially a off-roading event. It, what's funny is that some people will look and they'll kind of like smile and then they'll walk off. Hint, come say hi. It is absolutely amazing when you it's guys super, come say hi to us in public. Super we have, flattering, we love it. It doesn't bother us one little bit. What is one Jeep upgrade that you would do again before all others? Hemi. Tires. <laughs> The Hemi is awesome, don't get me wrong. The noise that it makes is just like <laughs> intoxicating. But it is also a little more difficult to justify yeah. $35,000. That was actually another question I noticed was how much did the Hemi swap cost? Turnkey, it is $35,000. It's a little harder to justify that than maybe like a thousand or so bucks on no. good quality off-roading tires. <laughs> I like this one, it says, when will you guys be getting married? <laughs> Dumb question, never such a thing. But will there be another Japan trip in the future? Oh God, I hope, I so. hope so. I hope so. It's I... one of our favorite places to visit. And the Japanese like Abisu drifting trips are just oh. rad. We haven't been to New Zealand yet, which I've heard is like something out of this world as <laughs> That's well. That's true. But we love Japanese culture. We love Asian food in general. We love like- It's amazing. Yeah. Every I... time we go, we have the greatest time it, it really is so hopefully 
hopefully, absolutely, yes, there will be another trip. Could possibly be this November. Possibly. Possibly. Have you seen many disabled folks out on the trail? Absolutely. Trail Hero is a prime example of this. Guys, remember one of the reasons that we fight and try to encourage people to do what they can to make sure that trails stay open is that for some people, automotive access is the only way for them to really experience and enjoy the outdoors on any level. They can't bike, they can't walk, and honestly being in a car that's modified properly for them to go four-wheeling might be the only way that they can ever really experience the joy of being out on a trail. So yeah, and I highly encourage anyone who might be disabled and watches us to look into it because it is absolutely possible for you to enjoy everything that we do in our vehicle. There are ways that you can modify your car to fit the exact needs your that you car, might have. You mean your Jeep or your, or your Toyota off -road rig? Your off-roading rig. <laughs> He's been avoiding this one. Kevin, how is the whole weight loss routine going for you? Good, look how fit and skinny my face looks. Look at this. Okay, so no, real, real, real talk. Uh, fell off the wagon just like anybody and everybody else. I mean. Not everybody. I, so I was, Some of y'all are doing great. Yeah, so I was very dedicated to it. I started doing it. And excuse number one <laughs> is actually I did get sick. I had like an upper respiratory infection. I think I had bronchitis. COVID. Bronchitis. It was bronchitis. And I couldn't, it was hard to breathe. And anytime I worked myself up, I literally felt like there was like razor blades in my chest and my lungs. And then we left and came down to Texas. And Brittany's mom just like. Don't you put this on her. She's Don't wonderful. you bleed I my love mom. Her. Hold on, hold on. She's wonderful, but she constantly like makes food and it's always very delicious food she has like 30 bowls of candy scattered throughout the house. Has, and i love candy and also like the food she makes is great but it's always like the most sugary she won't let you not eat she will scream at you to eat until you eat anyways don't put this on my mom so he fell off the wagon guys but hopefully the the goal kevin is promising that once we get back to utah he will jump back on the Where wagon my weight thing is at that i can start working out are there any hyperdrive type projects in your future? Yes, we're working on one right now. Nine it Second is... Super? No, no, no. It's another TV show that uh, it's about cars running from cops. Since when? Oh, what Aaron said. We're not working on anything. Yeah, no, he gave we me sent the in an application for another show. As far right. as hyperdrive goes, we, haven't uh, heard back. we have no idea. If there is a hyperdrive season two, you guys will be the first to know unless they force us to sign a non-disclosure agreement, in which case you will probably be the last to know. <laughs> Says I cannot believe that you guys do not have five point harnesses in your Jeep. Do you plan on that upgrade? <laughs> so we probably should. With the ridiculously stupid things that we do in our Jeep, harnesses would be a great idea because the stock seatbelt, as great as they are, would probably not hold up to some of the crazy flips that Kevin has very closely avoided. Here's the, the slight caveat is if I have harnesses and I have seats. He'll just want to do dumber stuff, you guys. Yeah. Uh, there's pros, con there. Pro will be safe. Con, he'll probably send it off a mountain. So, I don't know. Should they be in our future? Yes. Will they? We don't know. We don't know. What did you both do for a living before becoming YouTube celebs? Uh, I was actually a service advisor at a Volkswagen dealership. And I was a catastrophe adjuster for automotive uh, catastrophes. So whenever hailstorms, tornadoes, hurricanes, floods. floods. Brittany, ooh, for me, why don't you wheel the stepchild more often? Because she's terrible so at driving. I'm driving with a trailer right Anyways, now. so uh, I have explained this once or twice. I like the fast cars. I love the Supra. I love my drift car. When it comes to being behind the wheel, I like fast adrenaline. Uh, rock crawling for me is kind of slow paced and I just simply don't enjoy being behind the wheel well, as much as I enjoy and, spotting. And I, I mostly it's that I'm terrible at filming. And also so... that. Do y'all want kids? Uh, it, if it ever happened, it would probably be an adoption type thing. There are plenty of kids out there who need a loving home, and I think it'd be super rad to just, like, snatch one up and take them all over the world. Which and brings like, us to the second part. Would you sell all of your toys to support them? No. No. No, no never. never. <laughs>
a, if, <laughs> if we ever had a kid, whether it be our own or we adopted one, which we, right now the answer is no. Will that change in the future? Maybe. But no, oh, if we had a kid, like, they'd have to, they'd travel the world with us and enjoy rad motorsports across the nation and do cool things. Like, I, I would want a kid to enjoy that part of it with us. But, you know, then there's the question of, okay, well, are they traveling with you so they don't have any steady friends or the friends they have are, are crazy wheeling friends or race car friends? And so hopefully that answered that question. <laughs> are you guys still planning on moving to St. George? Yes. yes. That is still in our plans. We have to be able to afford a house first, which means we have to work on our income to debt ratio because we have a lot of cars, which actually brings us to another question. How do you afford all of your cars? Well, we have a bank that really likes us, you guys. Yeah, so I've always had really good credit. <laughs> so um, have I. And so most things are financed, but your, her Jetta is paid off. Yeah. The drift car, the the, Cor the Corvette Z was paid off, but we sold that and bought the Corvette. Corvette. Corvette's paid off. Um, the trailer, I've got three trailers. Those are all paid off. Yeah. These are all paid off over time. Yeah, over time. But guys, the <laughs> I don't know if I should be telling you this, but the stepchild's financed. Yeah. The Ram is financed. Yeah. Uh, the Gladiator's not financed. The Gladiator we did obviously buy through E3 Off-Road so that we could give it away to someone. And, you know, we're not going to just transfer the loan to anyone. Kind of an better yeah. idea. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah, a, a, we have great credit. We've never missed an automotive payment in our lives out of the 150 cars we've probably owned between the two of us. And so our bank's just willing to loan us a lot of things, yeah. which is not the well, adult then, way to do it, guys. Don't follow our so don't do thing. that <laughs> we have no rent we have no this mortgage true. we have no house payment no child uh, to support we have no child other than child support, support. <laughs> yeah we don't have any of that we don't really splurge on anything else if like, you don't notice we have the same clothes like we live out of suitcases like we yeah. each have one bag that we live out of i wear as all we the travel. free shirts i get from companies like when you buy parts or when you or go whatever. to events and they give you shirts events. and stuff so i wear free stuff i wear cheap stuff i don't spl like i don't have nice shoes our i don't have nice clothes i don't wear nice watches um, our biggest expenses every month are fuel and insur food and insurance oh and insurance well insurance yeah <laughs> we have a high insurance bill. what is the most important thing or experience that you guys have gained from all that you have done so far you didn't even read I, this hold on you didn't even read this one to be ahead of time hold on. wait i got an answer real quick while okay. you think for me the most important thing i've gained is the difference that we can make in people's lives through our videos I can't tell you how many times we've had people message us saying that we've been able to inspire them to get out and chase their passions, live their life, you know, travel the world, experience new things. Like to me, that is probably the greatest accomplishment we have ever and will ever accomplish in our lives is being able to inspire others to be happy and do what makes them happy. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess you're right. Like I, I've always had that outgoing fun personality where like if friends didn't want to do something, I would always like not force them but like make force a way them. like yeah or, <laughs> I mean, but to go have a good time and do stuff that they might not normally do and and it's i don't know it's pretty awesome knowing that somehow i can light a fire under somebody's butt to get up and go to do, do something, something. like, to go like do, that yeah. is incredible and honestly and for the people that might not be able to do something they might be going through something or they might not have the opportunity the time or the money keeping hope being playing. able to give those people hope and something to kind of hang on to and inspire them with it, while they're down is really the most amazing thing ever i i know it sounds cliche but i really believe that if there's a will there's a way if you want something badly enough you will find a way to make it happen. Like Absolutely. If, you can't just say you want something badly enough. You have to like really, really deeply want it and you will find whatever way there is possible to make that happen. And it, it's cliche, but man, anytime I've ever wanted something, I go after it and I, every time a, there's a no or a door closes, I'm like, there's a window, there's a crack in something. I mean, yeah. and there's always a way to keep going forward. And sometimes the greatest things worth experiencing or having take the most work to accomplish and to get what is the most challenging and the most rewarding part of being a YouTuber? Okay, so we uh -huh. kind of just went over the most rewarding part. Uh, the most challenging, mine might be a little bit different than Kevin's, but um, for those of you that don't know, I do all of the filming and the editing, and I work more hours now putting into filming and editing than I have at any job I've ever done, ever. Uh, weekends don't exist for a YouTuber. You always have to 
film and edit and upload videos. Sometimes those videos take me four hours to edit. Sometimes they take me 12 hours to edit. The most challenging part is this. Now, lucky for me, I am with someone I love more than anything and who loves me and supports me in every way, shape, and form. I am a woman who is extremely confident in myself as a person, who I am, what I look like, where I am in my life, and how successful I, I am where I am. The negativity that you will absolutely receive when you put yourself out there on an online platform can be really, really difficult. Uh, negativity is always going to be louder than positivity. Uh, for every thousand positive comments, there might be one negative comment, and that negative one is going to be the one that you think about and you remember and eats at you. And it's stupid, but it happens. So you have to always consciously make an effort to stay positive and just to keep doing the thing that makes you happy. Now, with that being said, the rewards make the challenge more than worth it. Obviously, being able to inspire people, being able to live the life that I've always dreamed of, being able to chase my dreams, be happy, and do new and exciting things all the time, make all the negativity fade away. Now, as for me, everything that she just said, as far as the positives go, because it is, we get to do what we want, when we want, how we want. Usually. Uh, we get, yeah, well, usually. And we get to meet people all over the world and inspire people that I didn't even know was possible. So all that stuff. The negative side, the biggest negative side is I don't feel like we get to stop and fully smell the roses as much anymore. I feel like we do we like to keep everything up that we don't get to um, I can sit that. back and appreciate things that we do and that we have as much as we should appreciate them. I'm not saying that we don't appreciate them. We do, absolutely. But sometimes we blow through stuff so quickly or it's like, oh. Or we're so we got focused on filming this or we got to get this on camera. Or we have to do this that, yeah, I could see that sometimes. Yeah, so it, it just, it gets to the point where I'm like, we get done with something and it was such a whirlwind that I'm like, man, I, <sighs> what just happened? I, I really wish we got to spend more time to actually like sit back and enjoy that. So, so stopping and smelling the roses is something that I don't think we have the luxury of as it's much a anymore. Challenge. But what we can do is think about it and go, hey, you know what? Put the camera down. Let's enjoy this. And we have been doing that lately. There's a lot of stuff we haven't filmed because of that reason. I'm like, let's put the phone down. And today is just us. Today, I want to I like those enjoy days. and appreciate what we're doing. So that's one of the biggest challenges is most people work and then they take a vacation and they go do the things that we do on a daily basis. And so when you take that vacation, you get to appreciate and enjoy the whole vacation where for us, we're trying to capture all of it to share with you. Um, and and sometimes it becomes very uh, tedious and, and kind of, I don't know, just a whirlwind. Gas stop. When y'all were dating, how did you know that they were the one? <laughs> so, what? Kevin, I'm trying to open up the gas tank. Kevin has supported me in every endeavor that I've ever gone after. He supports me like no one else ever has. He makes me smile like no one else ever has. He makes me feel beautiful. He makes me feel loved and cherished. He makes me feel like I am an independent woman capable of making my own decisions. And he is there to back the decisions when I make them. And honestly, he's probably the funnest guy I have ever known in my entire life. He's willing to say yes to any opportunity to just go have a rad time. And that is pretty freaking amazing. Can Brittany back up child support with the kids in tow? Yes. No. What do you mean? So for those of you who aren't from Texas, welcome to Bucky's. <laughs> so. Where did the light bright YouTube name come from? It is a nickname that I had in high school long, long ago. It was not intended to be the YouTube name because we didn't intend to make a YouTube channel. Um, but then it happened and it stuck and we decided we were just gonna leave it as is. Who is the better parent to Jelly Belly? Me. I am. No, Me. I am. Me, considering that she's our dog until she does something bad and then she's my dog. Okay, you are. Me. Both Brittany and Kevin's driving background. Also, who has the most tickets? Take a guess. It's not me. <laughs> How many tickets have you had in your lifetime, Kevin? Uh, I don't know. He lost count. I probably, I think I had something like 17 tickets by the time I got out of high school. 
by the age of 18, Kevin had 17. Kevin took his dad's BMW to school when he was... Seventh grade. 13. He was like 12 or 13 years old. It was too cold outside, so he just decided he was going to drive his dad's BMW to school. Anyways, I, on the other hand, have never had a moving traffic violation ticket ever. Knock on wood. How many, how many, how many accidents have you been in? One. Just one? Drifting doesn't count. No. Oh, okay. So one, one actual road accident. I was rear-ended at a stoplight. Not my fault. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what they always say. Not how, my many, fault. how is it my fault if I'm at a stoplight? I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Oh my I'm god. Innocent. What YouTube channels do you guys watch for your own enjoyment? Funny thing, I don't watch YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if that's like bad or not, but uh, I just don't ever watch YouTube. I watch a lot of. Like I watch engineering. I like watching. Smart. Oh, I do like smarter every I like day though. Watching smarter. That's you pretty dope. That was my. Smarter I know, but I, that's the only one I'll watch with you. Um, I like watching like how stuff works. I do keep up with like our other like friends. Our friends. Yeah, I keep up with all the other off-road channels and car channels. Leaving I don't, Jeep. I don't like dirt religiously style. watch, you Trail know, recon. start to finish every single one. But when I have extra time, I'll check in and I'll watch through videos and see what they've been up to. But uh, as far as like stuff that I watch every night before bed or something would be cool some learning kind stuff. Of, yeah, cool learning stuff. Could the stepchild have remained on 38 inch tires and still been capable? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. The 40s were just because that was the next stage in our build and Kevin wanted to do bigger and stupider things. Well, I mean, once we went Hemi, and one to one tons, it's That's like... That's true. You kind of, yeah. You kind of have to go It's 40s. like the next progression. But yeah, yeah, no. On 38s or even 37-inch tires, most rigs are pretty freaking capable. <laughs> if you could only keep one of your vehicles, which one would you choose? The stepchild. Probably the Supra at this what? point. I know. It's just so awesome, though. I like the stepchild. Don't get me wrong. Please don't stone me to death. But, like, the Supra's pretty freaking rad now. <laughs> Outside of the automotive world, what are both of your hobbies? For example, if you're both sitting at home with a free day to do anything at all, what would you find yourself doing? Mine's gonna be a totally different answer than Kevin's. I could sit in bed and read a book all day Or long. a hammock. Or a hammock. <laughs> what about the beach? I could sit on a beach and read a book too. I could sit anywhere and read a book all day long. I love reading. I would be looking up car parts and car things. Kevin can't do anything not probably, car related. And probably going and working on cars. Kevin um, can't not not do something, and Kevin can't not not do something car related. Oh, I can't sit in bed all day. No. There's no way. I would have I to can't. go. I would have to go pull the cars out, either wash them, clean them, work on them. Um, if I if it had to not be car. You're related, such a hard worker. <laughs> if it had to not if it absolutely not car had related. to not be car related. Go out on a boat, go for a hike. Uh, Has to just be adventure for Kevin. Yeah. Which is cool too. I like adventure, but I also like reading. <laughs> when can I have my Jeep Gladiator? Guys, the Jeep Gladiator giveaway is still going on. The giveaway officially ends on October 10th. The winner will be picked shortly thereafter and then announced shortly thereafter that. Now, if you already aren't part of our E3 Off-Road family and you're not entered to win the Gladiator, you can head over to e3offroad.com. And if you buy your annual or your yearly membership, you can actually get full points for the Gladiator giveaway, just like that. Is E3 Off-Road only for Jeeps, or can Toyotas and other 4x4 vehicles join the page? That's actually a good question. Absolutely. It is for off-roading anything related, whether it's a Toyota, a Nissan, a side-by-side, -side, a buggy, or a Jeep. Everyone and anything is welcome, and there's a lot of stuff on the entire membership page that can help you with no matter what you drive. Okay, barefooted truth. How tall is Brittany compared to Kevin? <sighs> Guys, I am five eight and a half. I am five seven. If you didn't wheel a Jeep, what other kind of SUV or truck would you wheel? FJ80. Yeah, our Land Cruiser is pretty I cool. loved our Land Cruiser. Also, it was Rhino Line, so you could just smash it on things and it didn't matter. That yeah. was kind of nice. <laughs> what was your first car? I'm gonna let Kevin answer first because his is pretty cool. Mine was a 72 Nova with a big block. Uh, the guy I bought it from had already swapped in a 454. Had manual drum brakes all the way around and was sketchy as hell. It was super rad. Uh, mine was a 2000 Mitsubishi Eclipse. And, and no, that is not any of the cool ones. It's like Blech. the least cool one there is. <laughs> 
Do you guys have any plans on racing an off-road race in the future? Uh, maybe King of the Hammers one day. Yeah. We've actually had two off-roading teams invite us yeah. to race in the not-so-recent past, but we'll see. Where did your love for off-roading start? Colorado. It was honestly, it was an off-roading trip to Colorado. Yeah, uh, a really good friend of mine, Aaron Losey, who's been on the channel, he invited us to go to Colorado. We did an off-roading trip, and then one turned into two, turned, turned into, into five, three. turned into yeah. eight, and I was just like, holy And then crap. we moved to Colorado, yeah. and it just, it literally was this very quick and very unexpected progression. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Kevin proposed to me on a mountaintop in Colorado, and then instantly sunk our Land Cruiser into a frozen river. All right, you guys, I'm pretty sure this video is getting long. So last and final question. What do you guys enjoy and love the most about traveling across the nation and across the world? The people, 100%. For those of you that don't know, one of the ways that Kevin and I afford to do what we do is when we're traveling across the nation, nine times out of 10, we if we're stay. not camping, <laughs> if we're not camping, we're staying with subscribers. We're staying with random strangers. Now, we're not strangers to them, but they're strangers to us. And we have met some of the most just friendly, love, loving, incredible, just incredible people. people. Like we stay with people all over. And, and if you guys are watching, I'm sure you guys are, if we've stayed with you, um, Thank you. Like, thank you. Thank you to for everyone everything. who's ever opened their home, home to us. Home cooked meals. It's the opposite of what you would think. Uh, a lot of stuff going on in the world, especially right now, it kind of brings apart the, you know, you lose your faith in humanity. And no, our experience has always been the exact opposite. Everyone that we have ever stayed with ever, again, thank you, has been above and beyond incredible, amazing, sweet, kind hearted, loving. Like, you guys are the reason. Whether or not we stayed with you, all of you watching this video right now, you are the reason that we do what we do and we enjoy doing what we do. Oh, and, and speaking of that, you doing like you helping us, if the car stuff isn't your your thing, oh, yeah. no problem. What I could ask of you, and you, of course you don't have to, is while you're taking a shower, just push the play button on the car thing. You'll not hear Let it. Let it won't play see in it. the background. <laughs> Even if not that, at least like the video because it helps the channel in general grow and as the channel grows hopefully we will maybe one day get to that point where we will be able to create a second channel that way if cheap and off-roading content is the only thing that you love we'll be able to supply that for you directly right. but right now it's just not feasible for us yeah so if you're just like doing nothing or you're doing something and you see a video pop up and you're like i don't care about that supra just push play and throw your phone in, like under the couch i, I don't know <laughs> just let it play hit the thumbs up button because it helps our analytics and it helps uh, us grow and be able to do that kind of stuff guys when I say thank you for watching and please don't forget to like subscribe and share really we mean definitely <laughs> mean it we love you so much and we hope that we will see you guys next time Bye. Bye guys. this right here is because of my daughter she's blaming me for her thumb not my fault. She called me on my birthday to wish me a happy birthday and she lit a candle no, and a cupcake. No, no, I lit a sparkler without adult supervision and now I have third degree burn. <laughs> so. <laughs> Not my fault. Child <laughs> unsupervised by an adult's yes, fault. Yes, <laughs>